Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Walsh, member of the research and development team with ProGrade. Everybody has heard of HDL and knows that it's the good form of cholesterol and that the higher one's HDL, the lower one's risk for cardiovascular disease. At least that's what medicine is currently suggesting. There was a really interesting study that just came out, however, looking at people that had low levels of HDL or the good cholesterol. And what this study looked at was they looked at a particular enzyme and its activity in these individuals that have low HDL and therefore would be considered to be at risk for cardiovascular issues or cardiovascular disease. And what they found was this particular enzyme, when having high activity, even in people that have low HDL, actually reduced their risk of cardiovascular disease. The other group that also had low HDL had low activity of this enzyme and were at an increased risk for cardiovascular disease. What was this enzyme? It's called glutathione peroxidase. Glutathione is easily one of the most important intracellular antioxidants that our body makes. It usually exists in the form of what's called reduced glutathione. And here's how it works. Glutathione can actually grab free radicals or oxidation, oxygen molecules, that would otherwise damage our body. For example, our body also makes something called hydrogen peroxide. That extra oxygen molecule is highly reactive. If that pops off of hydrogen peroxide, it can cause oxidative stress, causing inflammation and damage to our cells. Glutath reduced glutathione in the presence of this glutathione peroxidase can actually take that extra oxygen molecule and basically spare us from it, protecting us from the otherwise damaging effects of that oxygen molecule. However, reduced glutathione to actually do that needs glutathione peroxidase. Glutathione peroxidase is considered to be a selenium dependent enzyme, meaning if you lack selenium, this enzyme doesn't work. And if this enzyme doesn't work, reduced glutathione can't protect you from oxidative stress, from things like hydrogen peroxide or lipid peroxides, for example. So this makes a pretty strong argument for taking a good multivitamin, multimineral supplement that has adequate amounts of selenium just to make sure that your glutathione peroxidase has enough activity to be able to actually use the reduced glutathione to scavenge these free radicals or oxidants and protect our body. This is why in this study, people with low HDL that would otherwise be at risk for cardiovascular disease weren't because they had high levels of glutathione peroxidase activity in their body and therefore had lower levels of oxidative stress. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much for your time.